Hello, my name is Emmeline Beltran, and here's my poster presentation titled Painting, Promotion, and Prevention, How Art Can Teach Public Health in Elementary Schools. This community action plan proposes the implementation of art workshops using visual communication activities to teach elementary school students about public health. Before I began my graduate studies at Cal State LA in fall 2020, I spent my gap year as a special education aide. In early 2020, working at multiple schools, the conversation about COVID-19 were inconsistent between elementary and middle schools. From the perspective of a communication scholar, a concern I had about the forthcoming lockdown was how youth were going to learn more about COVID-19, especially seeing how many elementary schools were avoiding the topic until schools had to lock down. Ever since the pandemic began, I've been following different COVID-19 communication campaigns and was most interested in those that were catered towards children. I was also fascinated by the rise of social justice art around Los Angeles that illustrated and raised awareness of the many health inequities that the pandemic revealed. My personal experiences was what inspired this community action plan. There are various forms of visual communication that have strengthened the public health field, such as traffic signs and advertisements. Additionally, art therapy, education, and rehabilitation can improve the well-being of populations affected by either a personal or public health concern, such as incarcerated adults and Alzheimer's patients. While these interventions are beneficial, they only focus on individual behaviors. Moving on to a larger scale, art has united communities during social justice movements and traumatic current events, but communities shouldn't have to wait for a crisis to come together for a community art project. Finally, focusing on a specific target population, elementary school students are often taught that health is primarily physical health and are not introduced to other topics of public health. Visual communication activities that have been implemented to medical schools and public health graduate programs have been proven to enhance students' understandings of their surrounding communities, cultures, and health needs. With this project, children are introduced to public health and social justice topics at an early age. When the COVID-19 pandemic reaches its ending stages, this mural will remind students to continue the discussion of public health at an early age instead of waiting for another public health emergency to happen. In Los Angeles, there have been a rise of art projects and murals that are focused on social justice issues, including the COVID-19 pandemic. Recruiting social justice artists based in Los Angeles is vital for this project because they can relate to the students of the Los Angeles Unified School District, who are of various intersectional identities. Los Angeles was also one of the most prominent epicenters of COVID-19, so teaching public health to elementary school students in LAUSD can prevent public health emergencies in this county. Below is a sample mural prototype that is the intended outcome of the completion of the workshop. The middle design that says what makes us healthy, Los Angeles Unified School District, will be designed by both artists and public health professionals. Once students' illustrations are collected, artists will transfer students' responses by projecting each response onto the wall, then painting it over. This will preserve the originality of the students. Before artists begin painting, public health professionals will ensure that the artist's interpretations of the illustrations and phrases are understandable and accurate. The desired outcome of this project is to visually communicate an elementary school's understanding and awareness of public health. The mural will beautify the physical campus while promoting public health at an early age, especially since public health topics are typically not taught in the elementary school curriculum. With this activity, students should be able to name various contributing factors of their individual and community health. To widen students' knowledge of health, the measure of success with the activity is determined by the variance of responses when students answer, what makes us healthy? Students' answers should touch on a wide range of public health topics such as mental health and health equity. Another indicator of this community action plan's success is the continued discussion of public health on campus and throughout the district. This is the conclusion of my poster presentation and I thank you for your time.